this is Spidey1958, and welcome to my Let's Play Pathfinder Kingmaker, um, episode 85. Um, we were going around doing these. I think I need to save money, but I think it's worth us doing some exploring around. So let's go ahead and do some of that, and then work our way up towards some of those places we haven't been. And we'll keep an eye on the time, too, because we want to be back shortly before the year changes. So we have Secluded Lodge, which I don't think we can get to. Empty Skull Rock. Munster Den. <laughs> Let's go this way. May we have a moment of respite? So let us begin resting, and then let's see if there's anything important going on that we need to take care of at the uh, capital. So we got some time on this one, and both our people are busy, so we'll wait. Eh, let's not enter the town at this point. So we want to, I don't think it will let us in the secluded cabin, but we'll try. I think we've already been in there and it just didn't register for some reason. Because I think this is the inn with the murder suspect, or the murder suspects, the priestess of Lama suspect. Apparently, there she is, Derma. It's not an inn, it's my home. I hunt for a living and let other fellow hunters spend the night here. They find themselves too far from a track. What does the main hunters pray in these parts? On the flatlands, they go for fox and deer, birds in the swamp. There's always a chance of running into something more dangerous, of course. That's enough about your lodge. Uh, I'd like to spend the night here. We'll pay for the room. After all, we are a big party, including a... Uh, wolf and a bear so okay I don't think there's anything else there we need to know so let us head out hopefully that got rid of the mysterious question mark do 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 I do like the character of Kasi or Kailaik or whichever one you is there for the moment let us travel to Skull Rock. Enter.
Ferocious Troll Hound. That's it. A Ferocious Troll Hound. Nope, looks like at least three of them. Still not that ferocious or dangerous at this level. Ooh, a lot more of them. Be generous to them. I am not. That's it, Wolf. Get up. Okay, maybe we're at the point that it might be mildly dangerous to us. There's a lot of troll hounds. Do some minor healing there. It is done. So let us say, because if that's what was outside, who knows what's inside? So into the lair we go. At least several more ferocious troll hounds. I shall end this suffering. There must be like a head troll hound or something in here. And I always forget to have you go. So it looks like there's something over here. An artificial flower. Dead body there. Oh, chest hiding over there. Bracers and an elven curved blade. Bracers of armor plus four. Definitely worthwhile. Is it worth swapping out Ready your bracers? Because you very seldom use your bow. Oh, you're already wearing bracers of four. We already switched to the bracers of four. That's why your armor class is 23. Okay. And we could give up the plus two attack and plus one damage if we wanted to get your armor class up. That would actually raise his armor class one because he'd get his full dex bonus. Now nah, I don't think it's worth it. It's seldom that he has to use it. And you're wearing bracers plus five, so you have even better. So I think we're fine for the time being. We'll find someone else who uses it. We could always have uh, Knock Knock use it. <laughs> Okay, that looks like that was pretty much everything. Still can't argue with plus four bracers. <laughs> oh, it's up there's a second cave. No stopping now. Okay. Or does this just go into the same cave? I huh, guess there's only one way to find out. It's a different cave. Go. Guys, go. Go berserk again. There is still time to start. Lots of troll hides. So what do we have for treasure in here? Looks like a big pile of bones over here. And 
Sunday cloak. <laughs> Let me guess. It's our standard everyday. Oh, it's a plus one cloak resistance. Yeah, the standard everyday plus one cloak resistance, which I think everybody has at least. Most have something better. Cold resistance, 10. Cloak of Shadows, Cloak of Resistance 2, Cloak of Resistance 2. So, but still, it's money. Money's good. We like money. Okay, it looks like Skull Rock got us some basic gear, which we'll probably wind up mostly selling. But magic items are a good source of money, which we can turn into build points. Okay, looks like we missed something here. Then we can go down there and see if there's anything. Uh, another artificial flower. Onwards. Okay, that looks like that's it for Skull Rock. So let us head on. Let's check out Wolf Lair. Why do I suspect there are going to be wolves here? not disappointed to victory I think this is very similar to the troll hound just wolves that he be generous to them troll I am not Uh-oh. Now we're in trouble. Octavia, run away. And we forgot to have you go berserk yet again. Are you done sending wolves against us? Hopefully. <laughs> this one doesn't look like there's a way into the cave. It's probably too small for us to get into. Okay, it looks like there's several different places we can find stuff. Ooh, another piece of the Melda's <laughs> Ring. 
Someday we'll find all the pieces of an artifact. Really, we will. I don't see any loot there. It is done. That's weird. So there's loot right here. Hmm. Okay. Loot this loot. Well, apparently two wolves did sneak up behind us, but apparently the archer took care of them. So, let's go check down here. Doot -doo -doo. Oh look, more wolves. Gotta make our kingdom safe. Can't have a huge pack of wolves wandering around taking farmer's sheep and stuff. Treasure there. Honey, jade, jasper, haste, oil, and a gold ring. Haste spells is definitely worthwhile. Oh, we've got to uh, take care of the wolves. We will go up this way, and then we can find the other exit. Okay, except for this mysterious loot that we can't see, I think we're good. Huh, even though we can't see it, we seem to be able to get to it. So let's go ahead and look at this. Hmm, I don't did we meet a bagash and didn't know it? Oh well. Collect all. And leave. Well, at least we got to find it that way. Okay, let's go and finish this area out. Now we can, get, we do get a little bit of points for just exploring it if it's in our territory. We don't have to actually pay to claim it. Probably should have done it while I was there, but we're actually trying to get money here, so. May we have a moment of respite? Let us see what's going on in the kingdom. There's these passenger pigeon, or however they communicate to us. Oh, she just finished the quest, is all. Okay, that's pretty straightforward and simple. And how are we doing for time here? 
It's the 25th. We're still okay. We can still explore for a little while. A rest is in order. Some point we'll go we claim all these. All strength. But let's rest. Hey, we got a good meal for a change. It's hard to make good food out of. Oh, we have another kingdom notification. Noble requests an audience of the Baroness. That well, looks like we've been requested. So let us start heading in that direction. Used to pop up down here at the end if you, how you were doing on your achievements. I don't remember seeing that lately. Really? Goblins? Show them how ferocious you are. <laughs> At least we can clear the roads of them. Okay, continue. And we will go up this route so we can map it out. Now looks like we get something else at the great city of Tusdale. I really should have named it something. Hey, but at least we got a few more. A little bit more experience, a little few items we can sell. And a noble. Your Grace, allow me to introduce, introduce myself. I am Erdith Hanvaka. I beg you to give me a moment of your precious time. I thank you for honoring me with your visit. To what do I owe the pleasure? Such flawless courtesy. I can see you are a true noble, unlike those impostors from river, the river kingdoms. Let me get straight to the point of my visit, for it's a matter of utmost importance. A tragedy has brought me here, one that has been looming over my family for a while, or perhaps one that's already come to pass. You see, Your Grace, two months ago my elder brother Tomlin Havanka was missing. After leaving 
Ralton, where our family resides, he headed northwest. His destination, as we found out later, was a village called Vonhold, but he never arrived there. Your capital is the last place he was seen alive. We don't know where he is or whether he's still alive. Our poor father is losing his head in grief. Please, Help us learn something about the fate of my brother, and you'll eventually you'll gain an eternal loyal ally. Tell me about your brother. Our family, no matter how venerable, has always carried a spirit of adventureness, if you will, in our blood, a thirst for risk and exploits. Each generation has had its own daredevil who left all he owned and went chasing after some ghostly treasures completely annoying the tears of his loved ones. I'm afraid this family curse has befallen on my brother now. If only I knew where exactly he was looking for or where exactly he was going. Sadly, I managed to learn... All I managed to learn is the name of the village out in the middle of nowhere, Vonhold, along with the fact that my brother never arrived there. Tell me about your family. The Hanvakas are an ancient family with a long history hailing back to the days before Galton's founding. Unfortunately, our wealth has been depleted by a series of reckless ventures, like the one my brother is partaking in right now. Family archives, some heirlooms, in our honor. These are all the treasures our beloved house has come to possess. I see what I can do for you. Farewell. I look forward for any news you may find. So I have a feeling somewhere I'm going to find a dead body. So we had another notification. Hopefully it was just someone else finished something. Finishing something. Blew. Rented lips. So we got plus one for that. Yay. Fey magic. So I'm afraid, Harun, you're going to have to go take care of it. And we are sitting at 131. And we got a fair amount of money. So who do we need back? We need the treasurer, who we just gave something, and the counselor. So the military is restoring Bronze Shield Fortress. You have 14 days because you just started. You have two days. You have two days. And you have three days. So let's skip one day, two days. And we have someone in our courtroom, or in our throne room. That's the word I'm looking for, throne room. I received this today, an official letter from Ransmillion with a trade proposal. Seems the barony has grown large enough to excite curiosity even in odd corners of the river kingdoms. It is just that I don't think Razmirin would take, make the best ally, since their self-proclaimed god, Razmir, rules there. Tyantry has flourished across the country, and they think little of their neighbors. They just occupy any lands they can. 
If I were you, I would politely decline their trade agreement. Who knows? Maybe it's a trick. Although the terms were profitable. Tell me about Razmir. He's a quirky fellow. He took over a kingdom and persuaded all the locals that he's a living god. He installed his henchmen in all the key position and now rules as he pleases, oppressing the population. The more I think about it, the less I like the idea of dealing with him. He has repeatedly expanded his, the territory of his own kingdom by occupying his neighbors. Such an attitude towards others' countries is a serious worry. Reject this proposal. Ah, truth be told, I'm glad. It wouldn't feel good about dealing with a rascal like Razmir. Okay, let's see what that actually did for us. That gave us plus one relations. Apparently a bunch of stuff came up. Okay, let's check economy. So for 75 we can get plus five to economy. That's 400. Ooh, this one might be worthwhile. Costs us 65 BP, but gives us plus three build points every time the Grand Diplomat revises. But there's no expiration date on it, so... I need to remember to go through those occasionally, and... Now our diplomat can uh, get up a level, which we certainly want to do. Okay, so let's skip a day. Plus three community, yay! And let's go ahead and Get our Grand Diplomat up a level. We did the Fey Magic okay. Apparently we have another event. And both of you, of course, tied up. I have to fix this before the 1st of Neth. And it's already the 14th of Neth. You guys should be close to being done, shouldn't you? I would think so. You have four days. You have one day. So this is a problem. Hmm. Well, let's look at rank up. So the treasurer is not available yet. And the counselor is not available yet. So you have...
Are you actually doing this one? I'm confused. So you have 10 days. You have four days. And we have 217. So let's go. Actually, let's call it an episode. So as always, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you dislike the episode, leaving me a dislike is fine. But please leave a comment saying why you dislike the episode. As always, this is Spidey1958. And have fun gaming. <laughs>